In today's video, we are opening one of Yu-Gi-Oh's best sets ever. What's up guys, we're back with an insane Yu-Gi-Oh! blister pack opening. We have a bunch of Duelist Alliance blisters today. They're first edition, so potential Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, as well as a bunch of other random blisters from the last few years that I'm pretty excited to open up because I haven't actually opened any of these sets very much on our channel. But before I get to it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Elemental Energy Promo, Secret Rare Creator, Sacred Phoenix, and Silent Swordsman Level 5, one of the best looking cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite pack that we open up today or your favorite card from duelist alliance all right guys duelist alliance is here we have i think 14 blister packs of that and then 15 assorted random blisters including stuff that's really bad like pendulum evolution and other stuff that's not as bad pretty solid actually so because we have 15 i'm gonna start with pendulum evolution duelist alliance is considered one of the best playable sets of all time and there's also a lot of really cool cards in there that are collectible as well such as a ghost rare the cover card ultimate rare there's like el shadal construct there's the uh Okay, I just lost my train of thought. What was it? What it was? What was I gonna say other than that? I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't know. There was something else cool, but maybe we'll pull it and then I'll remember. Okay, so Pendulum Evolution we know is a really terrible set. So if there's anything good in there, uh, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments. Let's get back to the set that I can't remember what I was gonna say about. Four ninety nine. I paid a little bit more than this, uh, but still pretty decent price. I think we got them for a decent deal. Thanks to Muhammad who hooked me up with these. We have a Yang Zing. We have Aria, we have Battle Guard Rage, Nefarious Archfiend of Nefariousness, we have that six. Hedgehog there, oh yeah, the, uh, oh, Hollow. So I guess you don't have to do the weird pack trick. There is a not guaranteed Hollow because these came out in 2014, it was a year before the last uh, ever Ghost Rare and Ultimate Rare set. So these are pretty far back at this point, almost 10 years old going on next year. We have the Traveler of the Burning Abyss is our super. And then we have Graph. So we opened recently some gold series. That was a weird, it was like a Yoda way to say that. And uh, we had this guy in gold rare, but now he's just a regular rare. I think this is the original print in here. And this set was so good because of how many different archetypes it released that were really playable. So I'm guessing that uh, Burning Abyss was one of them. I know it contains Shadals. It obviously contains uh, Teller Knight, Sateller Knight, all that different stuff. We got a couple dual spec dimensional guardians. This set is also really terrible. We're doing the really bad ones first so we can lead up to the good ones. We have a Resonator Call. I like the Resonators. That's pretty cool. Pendulum Fusion. I don't know if that's guaranteed, so that's actually kind of sick. Pendulum Fusion. We have Red Sprinter, Red Gardener, and a Machine Angel Ritual for the uh, Cyber Angels Classic. Bringing back those Duel Links memories as always. Duelist back Dimensional Guard. Here we go. Cyber Angel. Petite Angel is here. There it is. Little Karibo, Wing Karibo, but it's not really. Red Wyvern, so it looks like that was not a guaranteed foil, so we'll take that. Double Cypher, we have the Cypher Bit and Cyber Angel Edithin. We almost have the entire Cyber Angel deck already. Okay, second Duelist Alliance pack. I have high hopes. I've never pulled this Ghost Rare before. I'm hoping to pull it. It's the uh, Divine... No, no, that's that's uh, wrong wrong set. This is the Fusion guy. What's he called? Dragon Knight Draco Aquis. I think that's right. Okay, there we go. Struggling today. I'm thinking... I was thinking of Shadows. Why was I going with Shadow Spectres? I do like the Divine Dragon. It's pretty cool, though. There's a Nick at the top. Three from the back. I have pulled the cover card of this, uh, this set. So the... What is he called? I, I can't remember anything today. It's the Pendulum Dragon, the something dragon, I don't know, Lancia. Another thing I forgot about, great common right here. Lancia is really good, Pokemon Reaper, but pulled the ulti the other day of the Pendulum Dragon with UA Mighty Select. Yo, UAs are in here as well, it's crazy. There's so many good ones. The Teller Knight, Unaclai, it looks like a Urukai from Lord of the Rings. Okay, Infinity Chasers, Inch, I love it. The set abbreviation being Inch is hilarious. Very cool looking artwork on the pack. Let's see what we can get. We have a Evil Eye Defeat, Rank Up Magic Astral Force. We have Tannhauser Gate, Witchcrafter Patier, and a Witchcrafter Scroll Secret Rare. Okay, Witchcrafters are usually, I think, the most popular cards out of this set, so not a bad pull, I guess. Let's see if this Duelist Alliance can top it, because right now, we're looking to get that Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. There we go. It came back to me, guys. Shadals are also pretty cool. Shadal Construct Ulti would be amazing. Spicy Spy, Spicy Spy, we're spying on the Maxi. Agent, we have Stellar Nova Wave, Hedgehog, Guy of the Midnight Sun, Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness, we have Dijin, Demolisher of Rituals, Stellar Knight, Altair, and we've got a Hypno Sister Hollow, so another Hollow has been pulled. 
We'll take that Hypno Sister from Duelist Alliance. All right, Destiny Soldiers. Can we get this? Is a pretty beat up blister, so this one needs to be opened. But Destiny Soldiers, I actually opened on my channel a booster box of it like early on. It was like 2018, 2019. I opened a booster box of this set because it was like 40 bucks. So I bought it and opened it up. And I think we actually pulled pretty well. Let's see if we can continue that right here five years later. We have Creeping Darkness, Prometheus, King of Shadows, Veil of Darkness. Beautiful. Destiny draw. That's probably a solid pull. And a Dark Lord. Nastin. He's nasty. Very nice. Or is that a he? I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to guess. Back to our Duelist Alliance 499 blister packs. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. These, these Duelist Alliance are really beautiful. I One of my favorite looking sets in terms of like the aesthetic. I love green, so this looks really, really awesome. I have a booster box of this sealed that I'm probably never going to open just because I like how it looks. And the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon is pretty cool on it as well. So yeah, overall, this is a really cool set. So I was excited to get a few of these blisters and open it up because I've never actually opened a lot of the set except the one time we opened okay i say never one time we opened 100 packs but other than that other than that one time uh, i haven't opened much of this set it's always just like one pack out of a mystery box at a time curse of the shadow prison seer metal branch of the burning abyss and a full cult cannon all right whatever that means foul call foul call i don't know i don't know who that is all right, let's go to Savage Strike. I've never pulled a Borload Savage Dragon in uh, this set. I've pulled out of other reprint sets, but the original set, which is this one, it's just an Ultra. For a long time, it was a $70 Ultra. Maybe I could pull it. It's not $70 anymore because the card's not as good anymore. It's been reprinted like five times. But when it was only the original print out of here, it was a very expensive card. I'm going to do three from the back. We have uh, Edge of the Ring, Solomon Great Foxer, Subterra Succession, Time Thief Bezel Ship, Catch Eye L2, we have Claybreaker. Next, super rare, that is guaranteed. Okay, so you did need to do the weird pack trick on that one. Super rare for the next. Duelist Alliance, I believe in you. I love opening blister packs. It's so much fun, especially when it's older packs as well. It makes it even more exciting. Maybe this will be our first big pull. We have gotten a lot of supers, which is not bad because they're not guaranteed out of this set specifically. Popeye, or pop up, not Popeye, different guy. Battle Guard, we have Hip Hippo. I love the Hip Hippo. Hymn of Light, Sephira for those you know, the edited Cyrangel decks when they got some bands. UA Stadium, we have UA Perfect Ace. Perfect Ace, and I am struggling to speak, as always, but it's really bad today. Raging Tempest, is this first dead? I can't tell. We're just going to have to find out when we open it up. Can we pull, I think, is it Grass Looks Greener is in here? I think a Secret Grim. So that could be pretty cool as a secret. That's always a crazy card. It's banned, I think, right now. So I don't know how much use it'll be for us, but Apprentice Piper, it'd be pretty cool to pull it. Zodiacs are in here. Ram Ram, Void Feast, Super Quantal. I mean, Zodiac has been reprinted a lot since this came out. Recapture, and we got a super rare Tierra Source of Destruction. This came out in 2016, I think. So this is when it was guaranteed super rares. I didn't show it, but on the blister, they were actually promoting that there was one foil in every nine packs. I can actually show it right here. It's on Flames of Destruction. It says one foil card in every nine in every nine uh, card pack, I should say. All right, Duelist Alliance, I believe in you. Bring us back some ghost rare luck. One, two, three. We have a Recover. Number 58, Metaphys Arm Dragon. Shit all Hedgehog. Yang Zing. Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman. Satellar Knight Vega, pretty decent card. UA Mighty Slugger, and another super Dragon Horn Hunter. It is a pendulum card, so uh, it's a pendulum. Not too excited about pendulums. All right, Flames of Destruction. Can we finally pull? You know what we want to pull. It's first edition. It'd be even better. Imperm, Ghost Bell. Never pulled either out of this set. Never, ever. One, two, three. I would like to start it now. We have, I think, actually, I think this one is the weird pack trick. We have Link Streamer. There we go. Streamers, we have Goki, Bear Hook, we have Mandrake, Garagon's End, Called by the Grave, Common, that's a great card. We have Vindred, Nightmare, Great Flyweight, I don't think I did this right. I don't know, I don't know where it's going to be. Okay, Nightmare Cerberus, that's a good card. And then Altergeist, Kit Dogla, Kid Dogla, Kidolga, there we go. Give us something good, Duea. We need to pull something. Right now, it's been only supers, nothing above that, which is unfortunate because there are some high rarity cards in this. Battle Guard King, come on, Chaos Seed. Before my pal, Swordfish, Skeeter Skimmer, we have Dijin, Pilgrim Reaper, Exchange of Night and Day, Skarm, and Papa. Yay. Speaking of yay, we have Soul Fusion. It's time for a little Thunder Dragon action, right, guys? Thunder Dragon Colossus right here. Was it secret in this set? We can hold on to it. That's, that's probably the best card to get, right? I mean, hold, and just hold on to it and hope it goes up. 
Three from the back, we have Deanna, the Light Spirit, the Revenge of the Normal, Patchwork Fluffle, Solid Man Great Emerald Eagle, Solid Man Great Gift, Donna Wrestler, Cap, 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 Cap Terra, I guess it's a Silent P there, Cap Terra. Ooh, a Thunder Dragon Titan Secrets. That was the, oh, Token Collector too. Wow, that, and I used this in auction series at one point. That's actually a really good pack. It's Token Collector for a while was crazy money because of the Brave Engine. And then uh, Thunder Dragon Titan's a great card. Secret Rare as well. It's our best pull so far, I think. It's only a few bucks, but if this ever comes back, you know, Thunder Dragon stuff, it could go up. All right, Duelist Alliance, I know you saw that happen. I know you have secrets, ultis, and ghosts in your, you know, potentially in your set. So if you want to step it up here, that would be fantastic. Let's see if you can do it. One, two, three. Come on. Recover. Number 58, we have Metaphist Armed Dragon, usually visible despite its phantom existence. Watch out. Battleguard Howling. Guy of the Midnight Sun. Should all hedgehog. Performal Pal Hip Hippo, Performal Pal Kaleidoscope, and an Ultra Doomstar Magician. Thank goodness we got something about a super. Doomstar Magician, I've never seen this card before. Discard one card, then target one card in either player's pendulum zone. Destroy that card if you do draw one card. Pendulum, awesome. It's not a pendulum, but it's for to use against pendulum, which I guess I like. Circuit Break. I did open a special edition of this way back for whatever the Borlo Dragon is in, in here or whatever. I think we... There's two big cards in here. Oh, yeah, evenly matched. I think we pulled the Borla. We didn't pull the evenly matched. So an original evenly match would be pretty insane. So uh, I, I'm going to hope for that. Let's do three from the back. I don't know if that's right or not. This is a 2016 set. The Dark Era, you know, nothing above a secret rare, unfortunately. Dark Angel, Mermail. We have Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye. That's a Weevil card. Vindred Knight. So it is an interesting Rare at the end and then hollow. Duelist Alliance, here we go. First edition, we are over halfway. We only have six left. Open eight, we have six left. This is the sixth. Can we get something big? Come on, give us something. One, two, three. I know it's only 14 packs, but bless us. We have Gaia. Shadal Squamata, that's a good card. We have that six. Hedgehog. Yang Zing Unleashed. We have Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman. We have, ooh, Scar, Metal Branch of the Burning Abyss is a very good card. And another super. It's another Hypno Sister, actually. Repeat supers. All right. It's better than nothing, but it's not high rarity. Next up, we have Extreme Force. This set used to have two amazing cards. It was, uh, what, are the, what were they called? Uh, they're still in here, but they're not as valuable anymore. This is the Deco Dogger. Never was a good card, but it's the cover card, of course. Oh, what does that think? Saryuja the Skull Dread. That was a big one. And then the biggest one for a while was the Electromite. Yeah, the, the Pendulum card. Electromite was the big one. I pulled an Electromite out of a few packs that I bought to get the $30 to get the Lost Art. I think it was Exodia piece back then. And then I pulled the Electromite and made my money back and more than my money back. It was like 70 bucks at that time. Artifact, we have Secure Gardener. Zephyr Metal Tron, so that is not going to give us either of those. I think they're both pretty cheap now because Electromite is banned, I believe. And then Saryuja, I don't know what's up with that one. Might not be as good or limited or something. Oh, wait, we're not going to Code the Duelist yet. Sorry, Code of the Duelist. We'll wait just a second for you. Code of the Duelist, I'm so excited about opening it up, you know? I just really just want to get to the Code of the Duelist part. Such a good set. Duelist Alliance. I mean, I'm sorry, Duelist Alliance. Just, oh, why not storm forth? Seen that a lot recently. I guess these are like kind of the era of when we were uh, opening that gold series. They'd reprinted all these sets. Agent, we have the Monarch Stormforth. Vega, Night and Day. We got Shadow. We have Stellar Knight Skybridge. And another Ultra. We got a Chi Win. Chi Win, Light of the Yang Zing. So Yang Zings came out in here as well. This is an absolutely loaded set. But so far, our luck has not been incredible. I mean, in terms of foil, number of foil pulls, we're doing well. We just haven't had any big ones. Code of the Duelists, you know what to do. Original, unerotted Fireball Dragon. I'm just going to tell you that you're a crappy set. It'll help like it always does. We have a, a Wicked Acolyte ch uh, Chalam. What is that? Transmission gear. We have the Trumpet Rescue Rabbit. Rescue ri Wait, what is this? Emerging Emergency Rescued Rescue. That's kind of an awesome... It's all the rescue people. We have, or not people, animals. We have Destiny Hero Dangerous. This was super fun in Destiny Heroes and Duel Links. Jack Wyvern. Speedroid. Heavy Storm Duster. Not a bad card. And then Re-X. So Code of the Duelist. Not so great anymore because all of its cards got reprinted. And when you don't have any high rarity, the set then sucks. Okay. Still down to seven more packs total. Four Duelist Alliance left. Got a few more random blisters as well. Come on. Be the ghost. Or it'd be so epic out of a single blister. We have Metaphist Arm Dragon. Guy the Polar Knight. Sardal Squamata. Curse. We have Resonance Insect. Another crazy good common. Uh, Pilgrim Reaper for those insects. We have the Skimmer. 
Face off and a, a beyond Earth of the Yang Zing. More Yang Zing stuff. Okay, another super. Nothing that crazy. I mean, just more supers. We're getting a lot of them. Now I have Maximum Crisis. You know what we want out of here. First edition. I have pulled this Unlimited. I've never pulled this first ed. The Ash Blossom and Joy Springs. Still pretty expensive these days. Even original print first ed. Even with all the reprints because it's such a good card. Okay, most of these have been like this. So I'm going to go like this. We have a Performal Pal Review Dancer. We have something. Dark Worm. We have Draco Phoenix. Warbler. Dynamis Howling. Very good card. The uh, Phantom Knights of Wrong Magnetring. We have the King True King of All Calamities. Oh, okay. So I didn't need to swap them. It was going to be fine the other way. That's a crazy card that is now, I think, either banned or... I think it's banned because... I don't know if they made, I don't, they didn't rot on it. So it's gotta be banned, right? Maybe oh, wait, we had an extra pack. So let's do this one real quick. Cybernetic Horizon. This is Boral, uh, Boral Sword Dragon. That's what it is, Boral Sword Dragon. I've pulled this a few times out of the set. Not the cover card. I've said before that this, what that it was the cover card, but clearly not. If you just actually look at the front of the pack. Here we have Level Men. We have Mind Meld. We have Dragoonity Legion, Crusadia, Mini Boral Dragon. No, oh, never mind. Well, okay, we need to do the crazy. They're all so all over the place. I can't keep up. That one, we needed the pack trick, but we didn't. Okay. Next time, though. But Duelist Alliance, I have down, at least. Because that one's easy. Three from the back. Nice and simple. All right. Come on. This is the big one. We have number 58. We have Yang Zing, Battle Guard Rage, Skeet Skimmer, Demolisher, Pilgrim, Exchange of Night and Day, Seer, and. Oh! Secret rare Baxia Brightness of the Yang Zing. That is a nice card. I think this comes in ulti as well, so that's like the really valuable one. I think this one's like four to five bucks. First ed might be a little bit more. That's still a really sick card. This is a great card and it's beautiful. Secret rare. I love it. We got a high rarity card. I can't complain now. Spirit Warriors time. Hi, Spirit Warriors. Is this like six samurai stuff? I think this might be like six samurai and stuff like that i mean warriors it makes sense we have the legendary six samurai kageki all right we have the hand of the six samurai magical muskets we have shanae and magical musket cross domination okay cross domination interesting three total packs left it's been a fun video if you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to the channel i mean we still have hope for a ghost rare it's not over yet but subscribe because we're going to be opening more packs and more ghost rares will be opened on this channel at some point assuming we continue to upload and no nothing happens i don't like you know fall off a bridge or something we have the agent we have stellar wave we have Molody's diva yang zing hymn of light for ball hip hippo we have super heavy samurai binkai and oh rise of the mega monarch back to back secrets this is the one that went to 70 bucks for a while thanks to i think it was flu uh, I wish it was still 70. I don't think it is. It's probably a lot less now. Mostly because it got a reprint in Ghost from the Past, actually. So, <laughs> kind of funny. Here we go. What is our last pack? I didn't even look at what it's called. Hidden Summoners. All right. Hisu. It's like Hisui Pokemon. Let's see what we will get. We have a Tatsunoko. Cool. Yasha, the Skeletal Miyakishi. I like Miyakishis. That's cool. Ultra Polymerization. Onslaught the Fire Kings. And Prank Kids Place. Has a gold reprint. I don't know if this secret original is actually pretty good, but prank kids were good for a while. And our final pack of Duelist Alliance. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three. Can't back to back secrets. We're on a hot streak. Can we up it to an ultimate or a ghost in this perfectly? Cloud Castle, we have Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. Unkulai, we have Dijin. We have Pilgrim Reaper. Exchange of Night and Day. Sonata the Melodious Diva. Super Heavy Samurai, Big Ben Kai, and oh, it's another hollow. It's a Deller Knight, Al Sam. We can't complain about, I mean, the amount of foils we just pulled out of 14 packs is absolutely ridiculous, so I can't complain about that, plus the two secrets at the end definitely helped out. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.